All right, what's up guys? It's your boy, Fiery Bacon, and I'm here again going to play Bioshock from Bioshock the Collection. Now, Bioshock is a horror game produced and developed by 2K Games, as well as, I think, Blind Squirrel, I do believe. Both great companies. Um, I know I've already made a video on Gathering Adam. If you're watching this and you need Adam, please go ahead and go to my other video that I've made. I'm going to start this walkthrough now. Let's get in it. I have already played this game through multiple times. I do have the Platinum Trophy, but just for the sake of this walkthrough, I will play through only on New Game and not New Game Plus. told me son you're special you were born to do great things you know what they were right No gods or kings, only man. In what country is there a place for people like me? Andrew Ryan. Alright, alright. So for those of you who don't know, 
Um, this game will be underwater. This game does take place in a city named Rapture. And it is a city that is built under the ocean. Or in the ocean. Whichever you prefer.
Mr. Bubbles, it's an angel. I can see light coming from his belly. Wait a minute, he's still breathing. It's all right. I know he'll be an angel soon. The great chain is guided by our hand. Interesting. What's over here?
So this is where you're going to get your first weapon. You're going to get a pistol.
So one thing that is very distinct about Bioshock is the amount of enemies that you will have throughout the game. Like so. So I'm going to explain what I'm doing to anybody who's new to the game. Uh, when you get to certain machines such as a vending machine or any type of turret or any type of camera or any type of machine really in this game, you can disable them temporarily with your electrobolt plasmid and you can then for hack them. Hacking them will make them friendly towards you, and they will not affect you. Like so. So before you even try to go to the surgery wing, um, you're going to need to go to Eternal Flame. Lord. So if you've already gone through all this and you know, 
you're at this point of the game where you've got to go this, to the surgery wing to go find Dr. Steinman, don't. You're going to want to actually take this left side and go down here. You're going to trigger on this. And you're going to want to take this guy out. You're then going to want to make your way through here. Watch out for that camera, and you're actually, a good thing to do is use this furnace that's just around the corner. And you will get another plasmid called Hacker's Delight. This allows you to gain health when you are hacking something. And as you can see, I'm just going to buy that out and hack that. Therefore, it's no longer going to hurt me. Honey, You're going to want to make your way up through the stairs and crawl through this little vent. You will see this plasmid called Incinerate. You're going to want to pick that up and put it in the slot. All these enemies are going to show up right here. What you're going to do is you're just going to hit all the gasoline on the ground. And it'll burn them. You're going to want to wait. Actually not. You don't have to wait it out. But you're going to want to make your way back out and through the fire. Your character will be fine. You're going to want to go all the way back down and back out. From here, you're going to be presented with these stairs. You're going to want to go straight down. You're going to want to melt this ice. You can switch plasmids. And then you'll go here. And you'll go to the dental surface. So if you've gone down the stairs, just to recap. If you've gone down the stairs, you're going to take a right and then a left. And then you're going to go through these doors. And you're going to make your way around and you'll find your third plasmid called telekinesis. Once you find it, you're going to want to put it over incinerate because you won't need incinerate until later on in the game. So for now, you can use telekinesis. And then once you're done down here, you will be presented with your next weapon, which is a good old shotgun. And then when you pick it up, the game's going to put you through this little arena test with multiple, multiple enemies. Now that you've done that and you've collected telekinesis, you're going to want to make your way back upstairs. And now you can actually head to the surgical wing. So 
So now we can head to surgery wing because telekinesis will come in handy because Dr. Steinman is basically that enemy we just saw. He is a nitro splicer. They do throw grenades and it comes in handy because you're going to use the grenades against him. So it's going to come in handy because he's going to come from up there and we can, oh, rip, hold on. We can simply just use that and break it. You're going to want to make your way through here. Ooh, let's see if I can do this. Uh, let's see. There we go. Perfect. What can I do with this one? She won't stay. I want to make them beautiful, but they always turn out wrong. That was too fat. This one too tall. This one too And now. What's this guy? An intruder? He's ugly! 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 Look at you! Here he is! You know, with four hits from your shotgun, you will take out Dr. Steinman. Once you're done with Steinman, you will simply start heading back towards where you started from. There's going to be four or five enemies. Oh, okay. I was supposed to hit the water. I usually do. Please forgive. But you're going to want to make your way back. You're going to want to take that left and go this way. You're then going to come across your first little sister throughout the game. You can choose to either rescue her or harvest her. If you don't want to have to worry about Adam later on in the game and you're new to the game, again, please go watch my other video before doing this and you can, well, you have to finish the game first to be able to do my other video. So if you're strictly going for 
saving all the little sisters, by all means, go ahead and rescue them throughout the game. But you will not get the most atom out of them if you don't harvest them. For the sake of this video, I'm going to harvest them. Mainly since I already have all of the trophies for the game, including Platinum. So, if anyone in the future ends up watching these and you need help with a trophy, please, by all means, do message me. And I can try and assist you with anything that you need help with. So right here is your first gatherer's garden. You will be presented with five different upgrades. You have health upgrade, an eve upgrade, an eve link, armored shell, and enrage. Since I don't really need eve link, armored shell, or enrage, I'm gonna actually just go ahead and upgrade my health and my eve. That way I have more of both, which will help me throughout the game. And then we're going to be coming across another big daddy. Oh, Lord. Yeah. As you can see, he is not the easiest to take down, but to get to her, you have to get through him. And again, I am just going to harvest little sisters for these walkthrough videos. And then once you're done with that, you're just going to want to make your way all the way back. I'm going to go ahead and purchase a couple of things. I'm going to go ahead and hack this. breathing room but well, we still got plenty of time so I'm not like too worried about it Electric buck does come in handy when you're going against big daddies because they are very vulnerable to those shells. Once you've done that, you are done with the medical pavilion level. And that will grant you access to Neptune's bounty. 